So the MSC Marketing is a programme that we run here in NCI uh, over two years part-time. Uh, classes take place two evenings per week. Um, usually classes are about three hours uh, long in duration. Uh, the semester runs for 12 weeks and students will uh, sit in on two semesters on the MSE. Usually we run the first one from October to December and the second one from January to April. Um, overall students will study eight modules um, in total and will complete a dissertation to finish. So on the MSE in marketing um, there's a strong mix of traditional and contemporary modules. The idea is to balance core marketing modules um, with some of the most up-to-date emerging fields in marketing. Uh, so for example students who um, pursue the MSE in marketing will study traditional kind of subjects like services marketing, consumer behaviour, marketing research, but also we have a very strong emphasis on uh, some of the emerging areas like digital marketing, innovation and entrepreneurship for example, which would be three um, very new and up-to-date modules. Um, I myself teach on the integrated marketing communications uh, module, uh, which has been recently updated to give it a very, very strong digital um, bent, so to speak. Um, students here will look at things like uh, the strategy of marketing and the creative approaches uh, that can be taken on various marketing uh, subjects. Very, very hands-on as well. We try to get students to come up with their own creative campaigns, their own strategies, and uh, we facilitate that in class. The ratio of exams to assignments uh, very much depends on the module. Some of the modules, in fact uh, many of the modules are 100% CA so there is no exam um, but some of them such as marketing in the 21st century for example has a 50-50 split so it's 50% CA and 50% exam. So it very much depends but we have uh, a blend of both and all of the assignment dates are staggered so that um, you get an ample opportunity to do uh, all of them. So the MSc in Marketing um, is really a course for professionals who are working in marketing or in related disciplines, such as advertising, media buying for example, but also increasingly we have a lot of professionals who I guess intend moving into marketing um, and related industries but work currently in, in different capacities. In class we have a good variety of students from a variety of disciplines, advertising, media, social media of course being uh, one of the big emerging areas and brand management but additionally like we've said we have a lot of uh, students and graduates who are coming from very unrelated industries and are trying to make that move into marketing. Students who have uh, done this course before have gone on to achieve uh, promotions within their current roles or current companies. Many of them have moved out and um, moved into different roles in different companies. Uh, as I say, the digital marketing aspect is very important now and many people find themselves doing digital marketing within their company without actually having a qualification in the area. So this kind of solidifies that for them and uh, really gives them the confidence, I suppose, and the uh, theory behind digital marketing to help them in their uh, roles uh, in their organisations. So there are a variety of things that set the MSc in marketing apart, uh, I feel. I guess thinking of probably three of the, the strong ones, I think first of all we have a very strong emphasis on the practical application um, in our modules. Um, these are important for the development of skills that students can bring into the workplace. Um, secondly, we're very up to date on digital, of course, which is, uh, has become a, an important aspect of any marketing course, but also um, emerging technologies um, different elements like creativity and innovation which have become very very important to marketing as well and I think finally one of our big I guess advantages is that we tend to have relatively small classes and cohorts which means that we can do a lot of group work together um, and there's a very strong bond between the lecturer and the students in class. Uh, there has been a huge amount of change in the marketing landscape over the last decade. Um, obviously the most prolific one is the advent of digital marketing and its uh, importance in the not only in, in the social uh, aspect but also in industry. Um, digital marketing roles now are um, being advertised very frequently uh, and part of this is because um, it's a very new discipline and there aren't very many people who have qualifications in this area. So um, certainly the digital aspect has brought huge changes. Uh, I'm mentioned before that uh, marketing accountability and metrics um, has become a compulsory subject on this course and that also reflects the importance now that industry is putting on marketers to be accountable for their actions. Budgets are tight, every penny has to be accounted for, so the marketing metrics teaches 
uh, students to um, be uh, cognizant of the fact that the budget needs to be uh, spent very wisely um, and they need to be able to show what they have achieved with their marketing spend. Uh, that's quite new, um, certainly in the 80s and the 90s uh, marketing budgets were considered to be um, endless um, and accountability wasn't something that uh, was uh, considered, but it's a very important aspect now. Um, we also offer social, uh, strategic social media, uh, which is, as I say, part of the digital sphere, I suppose, um, but certainly teaching students who are obviously very uh, au fait with uh, social media, but how to use that in a, an industry context, uh, which is very important. Um, so those would be some of the big changes that we've seen over the last decade and as I say we have revamped this course to uh, take um, cognizance of, of those changes. So the job prospects uh, in this area are quite good uh, today. Uh, as we all know the economy in Ireland is growing uh, again at a very very fast rate um, which is fantastic and is affording a lot of new opportunities uh, across a diverse range of areas. Um, some of the world's biggest companies have their headquarters here in Dublin um, and there's always a need obviously for marketers, advertisers, strategists, brand strategists, social media marketers. Um, some of these roles um, have pr proliferated in, in recent years. Um, there's also a very good body in terms of numbers of advertising agencies, marketing agencies, social media agencies in Dublin in fact and of course increasingly uh, throughout the country. So overall um, job prospects are really, really good in the marketing area.